Grammy oh. the nomination. Eminem taking the most nominations, 10, right? You got 10 joints. Nicki didn't get any. Deservingly so. Deservingly so. I think I said deservingly so. I could have, you know, I could have done with her getting probably best new artist. Drake what, is on there. Absolutely. She's That's what I'm saying. Maybe next year for Nicki. But what songs out there that she put out on her own oh. deserve any Grammy nomination? So this year she's been a feature artist? She's killed a lot of features. She's, she's destroyed every feature she's been on. Yeah. Single-wise, like her own singles, haven't been mind-blowing. They've made charted, and that's great statistics-wise, but like you don't go to the club and wait for that Nicki record to come on. She kind of pitched all herself, but it's a good hole to be in, like, no fun intended. <laughs> hey. She got everybody on that monster. That said a lot. To me, she bodied everybody on that monster record. That monster record was about nothing. You want to talk about a record that's about nothing? That shit was about nothing. <laughs> Nowhere near Halloween. Like, she just went in. It shows that versatility that the rap game is lacking. I would have gave her the best pop vocal. For no, what? I would just want okay for the rapper girl. Yeah. put out her that's album a little bit earlier, somebody. she would have gotten I mean, a nomination. She, that's another she, argument she late for her. that she didn't meet. The time. Yeah, it was cool. Okay. Yeah. She broke records with the sales. She broke records with mm -hmm. with a lot of shit. Like that gotta add up to something. It's gonna she add up to a lot. lot. If she was nominated for Best New Artist, I wasn't be mad at all. But her music as it stands on itself, like right through me, didn't blow me away. Doing great on the charts, oh, yeah. but you know, it's kind of a wax song if you really listen yeah. to it. No, I like your love. Catchy, like I like your love. Yeah. Your love is not Grammy esque, but I like that record. Actually. She's rare because she can do different kind of music. She could do a hip hop record. She proved it. We just got caught up in how rare that is. She's a female. She raised the bar for niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's not get a twist. She's, just, she's dope. She's, she's dope. Ain't nothing dope. you can say. She, unless her breath stink, like, <laughs> I don't know. Other than that, you know, what can you say about her? Let's not get a twist. You know what I mean? Nikki is dope. Yeah. If you're looking at those Grammy nominations, it's like, all right, if Nikki deserves this nomination, who are you taking out? Those are strong fields. On Eminem's recovery, you think it deserved that many. Eminem's year is based on the comeback story. That doesn't take away from the music, but America loves a great comeback story. Indeed. Now, if this was just him releasing music, it probably wouldn't garner that much attention. I always believed that recovery was viewed so great because relapse was so bad. Yeah. Say that again? <laughs> <laughs> recovery was viewed as such a great album. Let me get it twisted. Recovery is a solid album. It's a dope album. Here's I listen album. to Recovery. And the reason why people are looking at Recovery like the sequel to Marshall Mathers LP, which is the best album, mm -hmm. is because Relapse was just it's garbage. Which, what was the single? Yeah, we made yeah, it. We made it. Yeah, we made it. Yeah. And he had three. Yeah, three oh, yeah, dope. He's, He's right. That's what it was. Like him, him trying to go back to that where he started, uh, and well, we know it's not. But that's not what he is anymore. Relapse is definitely his best album since like probably Eminem Show or yeah. Marshall Mathers LP. It's not his best work, it's just his best work since he got yeah, off and I think drugs. a lot of, a lot of people that, that mm -hmm. supporting it, they just supporting the fact that he ain't kill himself. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, on some G, like, the fact, part. you know, he ain't kill yourself. Let me get two of those. <laughs> that, that's real, like, he's really to that point. I'm not even an Eminem fan like that, because I like to stand, I like that type. Yeah. The new Eminem, I, eh, you, you know? Like Eminem on drugs. Yeah, I like, I like, I like that Eminem, because he was way more descriptive. Now it's like, like he got a, he got a couple of good radio records. He's alive again, and yeah. that's great. That matters for everybody. On these records now, like, he sounds really determined yeah. and focused, like he's fighting for a I mean, spot. Roman's Revenge, I don't think it would have been Roman's Revenge that he put that stamp on that record. See, the thing, like, with Roman's Revenge, like, and no disrespect, like, I kind of forgot he was on the record when, what she did. Trust, trust me, Emma's fan base is like an army, like, he's them there, dudes he, never go anywhere. They're one. Think about Roman's Revenge, I'm not saying he didn't go off. Like, the content that Nicki was talking about on that record, yeah. kind of forget where... You forget, like, forget oh, shit, Emma's actually on the record. Right. And right. I like Emma. You don't think of Roman's Revenge as M Spaz on Nicki, you think of... Nikki going at Kim. That's, that's the first thing you think yeah, about. She didn't even need him on it. No, she really didn't need she, him she on it. He just called her back like, yo, I like it. She was like, okay, let's do it. Like, yeah. that was just on the side record. Yeah. Like, she wasn't even going to rock that record. We're going without Emma to do record. That's record of the year. B.O.B. featuring Bruno Mars. Love the way you lie. Eminem featuring Rihanna. Fuck you, CeeLo Green, Empire State of Mind, Jay-Z, and Alicia Keys. Need you, Lady Antebellum. <laughs> Album of the year has recovery. Best, best new artist, there's four. Justin Bieber, of course. Drake, Florence, The Machine, and Mufford, and Esperanza Spalding. Fantasia, Bittersweet, Monica, Everything to Me, Kelly Price, Tired, Jasmine Sullivan, holding you down. For best rap solo performance, we got Drake with Over, Eminem, Not Afraid, Ludacris, How Low, T.I., I'm Back, and Kanye, Power. Mm -hmm. How did Kanye get on there and not Nicki? Because he gonna get on stage and slap somebody. No, but their albums came out the same, the same time. Best rap song, Sean Carter, Angela Hunt, a whole bunch of names, Empire State of Mind, Love the Way You Lie, Not Afraid, Nothing on You. Best rap album, B.O.B. The Adventures of Bobby Ray, 
Drake, Thank Me Later, Eminem Recovery, Jay-Z Blueprint 3, The Roots, How I Got Over. I think Drake was got the best out, one yeah. run. Uh, I think everything was right. I think they got it. You think Drake's going to take something home? How many you got? Four? So far. I'm pulling for our best new artist. Hey, I think he'll get best new artist. I'm pulling for that. You think he's going to beat Bieber? <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. Do you know he has 308 million views in some of his videos? Not like 308,000. 308 million. This is the grand. He's right behind Gaga. Like I forgot who said it on Twitter. I think Torrey said it. He was like, Drake is an artist, but Bieber is a phenomenon. Yeah. 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 So that statement alone. That's what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> I left my building one time in the summer and it was like coming down the hill and it was just like the little balcony, a full balcony. And I just seen things like this just Bieber. And I'm like, who are you doing that to? It was just whoever whatever car came through, the little girls are like Bieber. I'm like, that's crazy. Like in the in the middle of the block. Just because? I was doing red carpet at the VMA the like the last time they had it in New York at Radio City. And then I didn't know who Bieber was and the dude was coming through and I'm seeing girls fainting. Going nuts, screaming like, "Oh my God!" I'm like, "Who the, who, who ass kid this bitch?" Yo, that's yeah. just Gaga. Oh, so, yo, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I was talking about this earlier. Like, I went to an event that I got banned at from Def Jam, like nice. the Spring Showcase. I remember this shit like it was just a, they showed him like a video. I'm like, "Who is this little white boy?" And Usher was in a video, and it was Justin Bieber. I'm like. That was him? I don't know what song it was, but it was some dance song, and he's the little white boy running around with these little white girls, and I'm like, yo, what is Def Jam doing with this? Can't even front. Bieber got some catchy ass too. Yo, <laughs> Bieber is on. Like, he's a one man new kids on the block. So mm -hmm. the, the only party that I flopped this year mm -hmm. was my daughter's Halloween party. Mm -hmm. Well, last year, rather. I had no Bieber. And the kids <laughs> killed me. <laughs> six. I had no Bieber had and no, no Bieber. internet. I was jammed up. This year's party? I had a Bieber on deck, baby. Bieber all over. Which one you want? How many Biebers do you need? Like, so when you got the six-year-olds, you know they telling their mom, cop that Bieber, man. Like, I ain't doing the homework. Bieber's putting out like acoustic albums. No, it's crazy. Rappers are not putting out Bieber sold the same album. three albums this year. And they all went like, gold. Oh, <laughs> like, my world man. acoustic. My world is auto-tune. My world is like, yeah. Like, 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 mommy, I want it, but Melissa <laughs> wants her own. You gotta buy three in one house. He's doing a book, he's got a movie, like they groomed him. Like Usher, Usher Scooter Brown. He has a line of nail polish. A line of nail polish. He has a line of fucking nail polishes. That's right. why Torrey's statements stand strong. Yeah. true. Like niggas are phenomenal. He collaborated with OPI. To do nail polish? Yeah. Did I get that for time? I gotta get me a little clear. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> like, Bieber had a great 2010, so congratulations. His fame rate is almost near Michael Jackson. Oh, I've seen that. I've seen that shit in action. <laughs> And he's getting best yeah. new artist, meaning he has like a year out in I one think he, year. I don't think he can. He's swayed to the beat. But history tells it's not always about the most popular artist. Oh, it's best, best new artist. You're, we're pulling for Drake. I'm pulling for Drake. It's best right. new artist, right? We've been heard Drake. Bieber's like new, like he was yeah, no he hit Bieber, and then it was Bieber. Yeah. That's brand new, like yeah, that's yeah, a new yeah. artist. There wasn't no mixtapes, yeah, there wasn't no Drake. features. I mean, we heard the Drake, so my bad, Drake. Bieber gonna hop on that stage with the fucking the hairdo, and like, like he gonna do it. Like, yeah. I'm pulling for Bieber, fuck I can't even front the swag, too, like. <laughs> <laughs> Baby got the swag. Your last sentence for your Grammy. Man, I'm pulling for Drake, but you can't beat the Bieber. The Biebs is a monster. <laughs> My last thing for the Grammys, and this is a personal message, Kanye West, please perform all the lights with all of those motherfuckers that you have featured on that thing. Right. So, Oof. that's my last thing for the Grammys. That's cool. Whatever. <laughs> Next. Empire State of Mind is not the song of the year. Thank you. Go back to her name. Yeah, right. Come on, give, come on, give me some. I, I misheard you. If Empire State, Jay-Z featuring these kids is not the song of the year, let me know what it is, man. I, that gotta be this. That's like. I think fuck you together. If we're talking about biggest song, nothing was big. That's another Empire debate State right there. Fuck you was hot. I love that. Fuck you was universal. Well, there is some people that won't sing Empire Dog, State of Mind. What if Pastor was on Glee singing it, fuck you? It, but it, it depends. Mind. It was on TV shows on Primetime America. If they'll fuck you, if you, whatever people were saying that.